when you see a rally like this around a Bravenel Hall, I think it shows how important it is. Brandy Strand is executive director of the nonprofit Preservation Utah, where she says they've seen a tremendous outpouring of concern. At Preservation Utah, we've been fielding calls daily. We've been fielding emails daily. Our social media is full of requests of how do I get involved and how do I help? This comes after news of Utah's new NHL team and the sports, entertainment, culture and convention district plans that could cause some dramatic changes to the downtown landscape. Why is one form of entertainment valued over the other? Jack Clark is an accomplished violist planning to attend college in the fall on a music scholarship and education, he says, was helped by his time here. It's always been a part of my life and when I joined the Utah music community, it became even a larger part of my life because I started performing there. Playing with the youth symphony this weekend, his fourth time on the stage. The acoustics are some of the best in the country. That's why he created this change.org petition already garnering 27,000 signatures in just days. I hope it brings attention to the hall in that we can have it both ways. We can have our major league hockey team with the renovated Delta Center and we can keep a Robinal Hall the way it is. Insiders tell me this building, which has stood here for nearly half a century in downtown Salt Lake, is in need of hundreds of millions of dollars worth of renovations, including ADA accessibility and back and front of house upgrades. But the supporters say it's important to this community and worth the investment. Yes. It needs improvement. Any historic built environment is going to need that investment. And our community is willing to invest it. You can see it through the campaigns happening online, with the rallies that are happening, with people who show up at our city and county building. Putting a Bravenel Hall on its list this week of the most threatened buildings in Utah. We found investments for other things. We can find investments for a space that matters to our community members. In a joint statement issued this week from the Smith Entertainment Group, Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson and the Utah Symphony, it reads in part, while much public attention has focused on a new sports arena as part of the downtown revitalization proposal, all parties are aligned in confirming that fine arts and culture will continue to have a strong and vital presence in the downtown core. It goes on to say the vision for a revitalization project is in the earliest stages and no decisions on the future of a Bravenel Hall have been made. When people rally up and they stand up and say, no, we cannot lose this building, then it's time for us to listen because it matters. Reporting in downtown Salt Lake, Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.